Hello, I am Ali Birabadi from PLM TME team at Juniper Networks. In this video, I show how Virtual SRX, along with its dependent resources, can be deployed automatically using the Azure CLI. If you're brand new to Azure Cloud, I suggest watching online Azure tutorials as I won't cover those basics here. Here, I will give an overview of Azure Resource Manager, or in short, ARM, and I talk about its benefits. Next, I will look at the simple demo topology that I show in this video. And finally, I will demonstrate VSRX provisioning using the CLI. Azure Resource Manager enables you to work with the resources in a single coordinated operation when deploying, updating, and deleting as part of the overall lifecycle of an application. For instance, an application can be made up of a web app, a SQL database, and possibly other components. Each can be deployed individually, but since they are closely related, you may want to deploy, manage, and monitor them as a group. One other advantage is that we can declare the environment we want and send that to ARM to make it happen. ARM provides us a way to describe resources in a resource group using JSON documents. At the most basic, a resource group is a container that holds the related resources for a deployment. On the Azure portal, you can navigate to resource groups page by clicking the little cube icon at the left sidebar. Here you can see a resource group with a storage account, a virtual machine, public IP addresses, and some other resources. You can apply tags to resource groups and resources to logically organize your assets. Or as another example, you can monitor cost of each resource in your resource group. Now I create a new resource group called CLI Demo which I'm going to use later in this demo. As you can see, it has no resources and it's currently empty. Topology. This diagram shows the resources that will be provisioned when I create a deployment from the CLI later in this video. As you can see, a VSRX with three network interfaces, a VNet with three subnets, namely management, untrust, and trust will be created. Both management and the first data interface of the VSRX will be connected to the internet via public IP addresses. Prerequisites. To successfully complete this demo, you will need an Azure subscription. You also need to install Azure CLI. Depending on the Azure CLI version that you decide to install, Python or Node.js will be required. Although this demo assumes a Linux or a Mac OS machine, the Azure CLI is also available for Windows operating system. For more information, see the links posted at the end of this video. Now, let's jump right in. To create this deployment, we need two JSON files. First, the parameters file. I can specify values for parameters listed here, such as the storage account name, virtual machine size, host name, etc. Please note that DS3 v2 is the only VM size that VSRX currently supports. The second file that I need is the main template file, which creates all of the necessary resources. Parameters defined in the parameters file are passed here. A 
In this section, I describe resources that I need to create based on the topology shown earlier in this video. For instance, here I have defined a virtual network with three subnets. And the most important resource, VSRX virtual machine. The image information must match the VSRX image available at the marketplace. There is one more thing that I need to do before I can deploy my template. Authenticate with my Azure subscription. AZ login. I have to paste this URL at a web browser page and then paste this code. Let's go back and check. I have successfully logged in. I am now ready to create my VSRX deployment. AZ group deployment create dash dash resource group I'm going to ask Azure to create all of my resources in the empty resource group that I created earlier in this video, CLI-demo. Dash dash, template file, vsrx.json. Dash dash, parameters, vsrx parameters.json. Azure CLI syntax requires putting an at sign ahead of the vsrx.parameters.json. Remember that I have to pass both my main template file and my parameters file. This will likely take a few minutes before it completes. We can see the progress by clicking the refresh button. Nine items so far created. OK, great. Provisioning state succeeded. This confirms my deployment has completed successfully. Let's go back to the Azure portal and check. VSRX has been created and it is in running state. The template files used in this video are available at our GitHub page listed here. That's it for this video on provisioning VSRX via the Azure CLI. Thanks for watching.